Hey folks, welcome back to Star Tropics. Last time we got the shooting star, that's that's what its name was, which is an awesome new weapon. And uh, I believe we have another dungeon to do now, here in chapter 3. Uh, there's probably a cave somewhere, yep. I just stumbled on that by accident, how about it? Who's this? I would guess a healing thing. Maybe, maybe not. Hello, who are you? That might be a hint, actually, to um to something we need to do in a dungeon? Maybe in this next dungeon? We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. <laughs> let's let's just do it. I so I do believe this is the last dungeon of this chapter. I don't remember how long it is, but we'll see how we go. What do we start with? Snakes! Snakes. Okay, well, go here. No problem. You as well. Yes. This thing is amazing. Yeah, the game's kind of on easy mode for the time being. There is surely a switch here, right? No, there's not. Alright, fair enough. Ah, these guys. Eh, no problem now. Ooh, don't let him run into us though, that was close. That could have been bad. Ooh. So these blue ones, I think... I think the idea with these is that they will sink if we stand on them for too long. I would appreciate it if this guy went to this first platform, but it looks like he's not going to. Okay. Let's just go around this way. There we go. That wasn't as bad as that could have been. Yeah, you just have to, like, basically how those work is you have to jump off the second you get there. And here's an interesting bonus room. Um, how does one get over there? I don't know. I'm not sure what that's all about, to be honest. I guess we're ignoring whatever's in that chest. Hopefully it's not necessary. Oh boy, more lava. Had enough of this last time, thank you very much, but here we are again anyway. Nope, these red ones are just the same as the blue ones, I believe. Yes. Oh, hi! What's your deal? Ugh. Get out of here. Uh, I thought so. Just always gotta check. Okay, so... Uh, lava monster and a fly. Fly is now dead. Okay, there is clearly a switch here somewhere. Oh, oh it was actually to kill him. Okay. And I will check these, just in case. Yeah, I figured. See, I was thinking to myself when I was going over there, I was like, there's gonna be nothing there. And there wasn't. Ah, oh, this again. Alright, hang on. Now! Huh. Why would I want that? Is it gonna come back? Yes. <laughs> I don't see what the purpose of that was, to be honest. Oh, maybe to get those. That makes sense. of like jumping puzzles and stuff in this dungeon. I bet you those ones on the left and right sides are gonna have switches on them, but they look tough to get. So I'm just gonna go straight, I think. Oh no you don't! Okay. <laughs> what have we here? Um. Um. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, nope, there's just dudes in the lava. Okay, so I guess that's not the way to go. You want me to go across one of these, don't you? Oh, how am I gonna do... How am I gonna do this? We might be able to jump on the same platform? I seem to remember being able to do that, so I guess we'll have to try that. 
Yep, this is what we're doing now. Whew. Let's try this way. Ooh, that's much appreciated. That could come in handy. And we don't need the hearts. Well, as usual, we will check all of these. I'll leave those hearts there. Maybe they'll stay there if we need to come back for whatever reason. It's gotta be the right then, doesn't it? Okay, wait for this. Okay. <laughs> Bit hairy standing on those, but we did alright. No tricks on this one. Hello. Yeah? How's that going for you? Oh, what are these guys? Oh, they get fast, I see. Okay. <laughs> ah, stairs going up, that's nice. Back to the good old music. Someone's gonna jump out. I bet you. Yep, thought so. Oh, you're on the water this time. Ah, I do remember this. So I think this area that we're in right now is like a big circular, like, section of rooms. And there's some sort of puzzles we have to do in each part of it, or like each corner or something. I can't say I remember how it works. I think in the end we need to get to the center. Okay, this is going to open up the center. I think we're on the left side right now. Yeah, this is the middle. So if I remember right, we need to get to that sort of spring over there. And we may have to do something before. Like, I think we need... You saw the two switches in there. I think we need to hit both of those. Oh, no! Oh, I'm back down to my crappy weapon. This is bad, but we'll see how we go. Oh, there's a big dude in here. How's it going? <laughs> Ooh, he does some damage. Kill it! Okay. I need to remember I do have that health potion if I need it. That opens that up. This will be the center again. So, here's a switch. And that just opens that up, okay. Hmm. Just making sure I'm not missing any passageways or anything. Doesn't look like it. Kill it, quick! Oh no! Oh, ho, ho. time to heal. Time to heal. There we go. So, a health potion does not restore all of your hearts. Looks like it restores five, actually. Hmm, was there a doorway here? Aha, secret passage, hello. Now, I don't know if we jump into this now. I'm actually gonna... Ooh, I can't. Hmm, in that case, I think we just jump into it. This might result in my death, but let's see. Nope, that was right, I think. Wee, and off we go into space. And wow, we've done it. <laughs> just like that. That's an interesting way to leave a dungeon, gotta say. So, now there's a guy up here. Good name. Yes, we have a scroll that does a thing. And this is how they show running. We're running through the, the black void or something, I don't know. Oh, it wasn't that far away. Good chanting. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> yep.
Well, that sure was interesting, wasn't it? And that was that chapter. <laughs> it only took several parts. Yeah, I was saying that chapter was a long one, and it certainly is. But um, after that marathon of a chapter, now comes chapter 4, which is actually the shortest chapter in the game. Like, it is seriously short, I'm not joking. Y you'll understand. So, we come to a little island, and it looks suspiciously like a fish, for some reason. Uh, so I think there are a few people we need to talk to here. Here's the big one. Maybe he means big one. I don't know. Yep, something else cola. Something else cola. Uh -huh. Rowing his raft on the East Ocean. So that is our clue as to what we need to do next, but I guess we'll see what, ev what else ever- what, what everyone else has to say. W words are hard. <laughs> Goodness. Um... What else? Yeah, these people don't have much of interest. Okay, so, well, we know what to do, so let's go do it. Because so basically all we need to do is just sail around the island now. And what will happen? Well, we'll see in a moment. That's a rather large shadow, and... Yeah. So we just got eaten by a whale, and now here we are, in, in a whale. Which I think is great. Not really. As I've said in the past, I don't like this kind of stuff, but anyway, here we are. This. So this whale section is pretty much like the rest of this chapter, to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of a terrible place to meet, I agree. <gasps> dun dun! The plot thickens more. I guess that's fair. Yeah, what have you got in mind? Is that really a good plan? So yes, now we have to go on a little search quest for a lighter. And this is basically just a maze. And it's rather boring. And I don't really remember where we need to go. I know it's sort of to the left of where you start, but I think to actually get there you might have to go to the right first. Or I might be horribly wrong. Um, I want to say it's like up... Let's try this. I'm probably horribly wrong. As we just, you know, go about. There's not really a whole lot to say about this section. It's not very exciting. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's a diving spot. I'll ignore that for now. Uh, I have probably gone completely the wrong way so far. Let's see where this goes. To the left. This seems right. This seems like the right way. Should be like a big room coming up if we go down, maybe? Um... There it is. Okay, we're getting close. To the left, then. Yeah, here's the big room I was thinking of. Um, are we on the wrong side? Oh no, we can go around this way. So if we can go down... Yes. No, not quite, huh? Okay, I guess we need a dock at the bottom of that room, so we'll need to bring the submarine. Which means we need to go back and up and around. Uh, it was this way, right? I don't think it was. No, it was not. <laughs> Uh, mazes are just so exciting, and especially when it's in freaking 
walkie-talkie mode and, and not dungeony mode. It's even less exciting than it otherwise would be. Right, let's try this. This seems right. But then I said that the last time, didn't I? Um... Yes, here we go, and there should be a spot we can go through. Yes. So if we can dock here... Yes, okay, we should be good now. And this room should be it. Huzzah! And guess what, we have to go back. <laughs> Uh, what a waste of time this whole uh, this whole thing is. Now this might be a shortcut. I would say so since we can't dive back. Oh, there you go. So I guess we could have gone left and then up, and we'd be pretty close already. But we made it in the end. Yes, that's how fire works. This can only end in disaster. So wasn't that whole section pretty much completely pointless? <laughs> yes, here, here we go. Uh, so, this is a thing. If we say no... Dr. J sent us a letter with a map of Sea Island a few weeks ago. To which we say, did he? Because, uh, you may notice we don't have a letter in our inventory. So, this is a really interesting part of the game. So, what they've done here is... With the box of the game, there was a, um... In the instruction booklet, there was a little letter uh, to Mike from from his uncle. And it talked about, you know, some interesting things. And what you needed to do was you needed to actually physically dip that letter in water and it would reveal a secret message. So the way we do that in this, since this is a digital version, we don't have the freaking actual letter with us. What we do is we have to go into the manual. So if we go in here, instruction manual insert. It says, as we can see, when dipped in water, the letter revealed further instructions. So here we go, it's rather interesting. And there you go, we learn a little bit about Mike as how he is, you know, good at baseball as I, we gathered. Uh, the rest of it's not all that exciting, you can pause the video if you want to read it, but... If you dip it in water, this gets added. So here we have a frequency of 747 megahertz. And we need to keep that in mind. So... Input frequency, well, we know what that is now. And there you go. So, uh, back in the days of, um, you know, of the NES, I can imagine that part of the game would have been very difficult for someone who didn't have the instruction manual or got the game second hand or something. But I do have to say that's a really cool idea. That is a really cool idea to actually have, like, a physical thing that um that actually impacts the game in some way that comes with the game. I think that's really cool. And I can only think of like one other game that's ever done something like that. And that's uh Professor Layton 2 for the curious. That game came with like a little ticket and it had a puzzle you had to like fold. You had to fold the ticket to figure out like a, a word or something. Anyway, that's off topic. Um So here we are in chapter five. If I remember right there's precisely one dungeon in this game. Uh, in this game, in this chapter. And it's pretty difficult, if memory serves. 
Oh uh, yeah, so there's a if you notice there was a big ship blocking the way. Good good song, buddy. Um So I believe that catches. Um I, we might not need to go here at all unless this guy's gonna move out of the way. He is now, okay. He's rather thin. By carrier pigeon? Wow. No. Oh, fine. Y you've always got to pick the no option. Wow, way to go. We don't even know who Peter is, but now we've got a lead, at least. So, uh, what's over this way? Alright, it's a parrot. This is Peter. Yeah, Peter the parrot. And he's not going to talk to us because we don't have a gift. So we need to go and get him one. And then the way we do that is we should be able to... Oh, what's up? Alright, I think it'll just say that every time we get in now. But I don't think that is actually relevant to this chapter. There should be another dock around here, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, this is what I remember. If we go over here... This might just be a side thing, actually. Let's see what we've got. Is there a cave entrance somewhere? Yes, there it is. There is a house. With a dude in it. Uh, no. I don't know what that's a reference to, by the way. <laughs> it's a good saying, I guess. And yeah, we get a worm. I'm sure you can guess what we need this for now. Uh, but I think there's other things to do here. Like, this seems quite suspicious. Thought so. Um, uh, there's gotta be another way... Is this just a red herring, this whole section? I think it is. Okay, if we go back around to here... I know there's another way into that. You know what, we'll worry about that in a little bit, because that is actually what we need to do later. Yeah, I know, Navcom, buddy, it's fine. So we will return to give Peter the worm. Yes, we know you're Peter. Well, don't worry, I got a worm for you. So. This is a bit of an interesting, uh, bit of an interesting case here. Just remember this. Now, what he just said probably isn't going to make a lot of sense, but in the context of what is going to happen shortly, it might. So I will head back to where we need to go. Right. So, let's see if we can actually find the way over to this place. I feel like there's more than one entrance into this sort of cave section, but I might be wrong. Ah, there we go. There was another section there. Okay, so here we are. It's 
Don't touch anything, she says. There you go. Now, we head over here, we can see the way is blocked. But there is a giant organ. As a, as a keyboard player, I highly approve of this. Now, if you remember what the parrot said, he said, do me so far, do me. But, um, now, this might not make a lot of sense to those who aren't musically inclined, but it's actually referring to the sol fa notes of do me so far, do me. So if we go ahead and play that, as in do me so far. Damn it. I meant to hit down. That did not work. Let's try that again. <sighs> See, you hit down to cancel out of the... Let's <sighs> just be slow with it, okay? Goodness. So far. Do. Me. That should have done it. But it did not. You know what? Let's leave and come back. I may have messed this up slightly. There we go. Look at me, the music person, messing up the musical puzzle. How about that? Anyway, we got it in the end. And here's an empty room. Unless there's like a... Yep, I thought there'd be a secret. Here's another heart container. So that is... how many hearts was that now? We can check with... which one's the... It's select is the pause button here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hearts. That's pretty good. Ah yes, and so here begins the dungeon of this chapter. But considering we're at about half an hour now, I think we'll leave it there. Let's tell you what, we will go through this dungeon next time. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.